my name is Miranda and as you can see from the title of this video I am slowly getting caught up on Riverdale so today I am here to watch episode 3 and it's getting crazy guys so I can't wait to see what's gonna happen and yeah let's get started. I would just say you were guilty then. So that's a week later. Why did he need to get out of Riverdale though? Oh, that's so sad. So that's what she meant when she said he was supposed to come back. That's really sad. I'm wondering if like her parents are super like, like there's clearly something wrong with the parents if you know Jason wanted to get away from them that badly. But they heard the gunshot too, that's interesting. So who, is there another body? Because I feel like she was like, oh maybe someone's trying to hit Jason, but you, that would have sounded a lot closer. Oh, her mom. I really hope she doesn't go work for her mother. Because I feel like that's just, she needs to like, stand up to her mother. Resist that bitch, as I've so lovingly coined. This freaking woman always playing her violin. What do you actually teach? Because I don't know about your school, but I had blocks where like, teachers had to be teaching. treating it like they should all be able to see and stuff like from from the way it's framed it seems like they're all very far away from the gunshot so I don't get even I have closed captions on and it just said gunshot in the distance there is no way these people could have seen who it was ew don't date someone who calls you velo no like it's cute when someone makes the nickname out of j-law but I don't think her boyfriend actually calls her j-law really like Jughead and Betty together but like at the same time you know I'm concerned because like this show reminds me a lot of Vampire Diaries and if you look at like Vampire Diaries and like the couples that started out you know they didn't end up together like Matt and Caroline, Stefan and Elena so like I want it to be slow burn. <laughs> I just love them together they're so cute! But like I said, I don't, I just have a gut feeling they're not going to end up together. <laughs> this is like the opposite of Teen Wolf. I didn't want to drag you into this, Dad. Everyone on Teen Wolf is like, help me, parent. They were still having lessons? After everything? This is so creepy. I thought when he was like, oh, I'm done to Jughead, like, I'm not going to interact with her anymore. What the frick is a sticky maple? Oh! That seems like the old Veronica coming through and I love it. I'm impressed I feel like how much girl power this show has, you know? Like I really love it how strong the relationship between Betty and Veronica is because I was reading that it's not always the best in the comic books. Like, I guess she undermined her sometimes, you know? Oh, oh, it's going down. It's going down. Oh my gosh, this is like the scene in a Cinderella story where Hilary Duff's character just walks into the uh, locker room. Oh my gosh, he almost dropped his towel! Damn, she's on a war path. I love it. Ew, what the frick was that? I hate teenage boys. They are the worst. Oh, she is going to destroy him. He has no idea who he just messed with. So Cheryl just like flung herself in the river 
so that it looked like they drowned, because I mean, that is brother, sister, come here. Um, is Juggy not in school? Oh my gosh, I'm calling him Juggy now, I just realized that, I'm sorry. <laughs> from the 80s, Ethel. Oh, Cheryl, shut up. You tell him, Barb. Oh my gosh, I love this storyline, man! He just took his cherry! He only shot the gun one time, though. That doesn't really make sense. We're gonna practice targets, and I'm gonna teach you how to shoot it one time, and that's it. What is Archie doing? That looks like a... Oh, sneak it out. Didn't his dad say in the last episode that, like, I can hear you sneak out whenever you try since you were 10? So I don't know why he would have thought that. It would be kind of fun, I just realized, if, like, you did a drinking game where you took a shot every time they said Riverdale. This show is so much more progressive than I realized. Like, it's taking on slut shaming, racial issues, murders. <laughs> I, I just thought three things would make it sound better. Oh, I love Veronica's cape. <gasps> he was only using her for the book. That's so sad. Yeah, I mean, her brother was obviously into some shady shite if he needed to, you know, fake his own death, so. What are they gonna do? Because, I mean, she's right. If they just expose the book, then all those girls now, it's just gonna drag up stuff for them. So they gotta do it a different way. Which I'm excited to see Betty's dark side, so. So Archie doesn't really want to perform his own music, he just wants to write it. Is that what I'm getting from this? Or does he just feel like he's not on the level of the pussycat yet where he could perform himself? Um, red lipstick suits everyone, Betty's mom, so you can shut it. Oh, that's such good symbolism of her wiping the lipstick off because it's like she's literally silencing her, you know? Oh, that's so cool. She should throw that lipstick right out the window when the mom leaves. Or flush it down the toilet. Or set it on fire. Ew. Jason's disgusting. Like, I know he's dead, but, like, I literally... He's worse than Cheryl. Like, I feel like Cheryl, like, thought her brother was good, and now she's gonna, like, see that he's not. Ah! B-U-S-T-E-D, you are busted! This guy is such an idiot. They're playing him like, a fiddle! You go, girls! How is she gonna wear a wig in the hot tub? That just doesn't, that's not practical. That's just, I don't like the way that's phrased. Taste of Riverdale. A dude was murdered. Have a taste of Riverdale. It's kind of bad that literally I can't tell any of the parents apart. Like, I don't know who is Betty's mom versus Cheryl's mom. It's just, it's a sea of mother. Oh, why is the teacher here? Run away, Archie's dad, run! Whoa! Isn't Alice Cooper a singer? This is crazy. <laughs> this girl, excuse me, I'm just gonna um, sing my song now. I'm not one for violence, but like Betty's mom did have a slap coming. But at the same time, I don't know if Penelope Blossom is necessarily like the person who deserves to slap Betty, you know? like. From what Cheryl's described, it doesn't seem like she's the best either. I love Jughead, guys. I think he might be my favorite character. This is the most awkward thing ever. Is she talking about guitar playing or his sex thing? I feel like this is a double innuendo and I don't, I'm not here for it. I can't tell if they're talking about music or prostitution right now. I really can't. 
How they all the parents like when they're talking to someone they go up and be like say the full name like I'm gonna do that from now when I see someone Veronica Lodge like that's how you have to introduce yourself it just it gives you so much power F off lady oh my gosh I hate her honestly no jeez Betty kind of scares me that she can go like this off the rails. No, you're not fine. That was intense. Oh my gosh. I really hope this teacher storyline does not last more than one season because that lady needs to go. Are they going to talk about what happened? Because I feel like that was not normal or healthy. Like a friend should be like... I don't know, I mean, she clearly has some type of mental illness, but I just can't tell if she literally doesn't remember calling him Jason or if she's lying. They got in trouble for that? That's so dumb. Oh, you're welcome, Barb. I love how it's set up how at the end, like, Jughead is telling you something that, like, is going to happen, because that makes me want to watch the next one, you know? Aw, that was nice of Cheryl. See, this is where I feel like Cheryl's not actually the bitch. I feel like Jason's gonna turn out to be the one that was, like, manipulating the thing the whole time. And Polly was just... Not Polly, sorry. Cheryl was just his, like, unsuspecting victim. Archie, no! We almost made it through a whole episode without these two making out. Okay, so now lessons definitely means sex. I got that one. Look at that power couple. Betty and Jughead. Oh dear. It was an interesting episode, guys. I mean, it really didn't have too much to do with, like, the whole Jason murder and that overarching thing. It was more focusing on Betty and Veronica's, um, you know, friendship and how they're fighting together. And I like, though, Jughead said that, like, Chuck Clayton getting cut now is going to have some type of repercussion later on. So that's going to be definitely interesting. And I... So excited. I'm worried for Betty because, like I said, I really ship her with Jughead, but, like, I just worry for her mental stability right now. And also, like, if they get together now, again, CW is not the nicest to relationships, you know, that get, especially ones that start this early. Like, even Veronica and Archie, like, had their thing in the pilot, but now they're kind of taking a break from that. So, like, I feel like that more shows that they're going to have a stronger relationship later on. There's Bughead, Betty, and Jughead. I don't know if that's going to be the same for them if they get together so soon. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!